Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a gradient with some polishes my friend Cherie sent me. I've started off with the base coat and now I'm going in with this Braves Diva polish called Shut Out. It is a white cream. It will stamp, it will water marble, it will go on like a dream. It is a really good white polish. Now you guys know I've got a long history with love-hate relationships with white polish creams. I just, I have so much trouble with them. This one's really good. And it is called Shut Out. So I'll have a link for that down below. Hopefully I will remember. Hi Woody, how you doing? I'm going to top this with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down so that we can do our gradient. Beautiful, beautiful. Being sure to cap my free edge there. And I'm going to be using the IMK Protect Peel today. Um, it's a latex barrier. I will try to also remember to leave a link for this down below. Um, it's a really good one. I mean, it smells like the other ones. It's kind of got a stink to it because it's the latex. Um, but it works really well, so that makes me happy. I always use um, some kind of barrier, whether it's tape or latex when I'm doing gradients and water marbles because that kind of mess is just something I don't want to clean up. It's just too much. But if you use something like this, it's easier. I'll be using the Kiss Gel Strong Polishes in two shades. Cool UE, kind of a dusty teal, um, and the Kiss Gel Strong in Happiness. Beautiful dusty purple and a dampened makeup sponge and I'm just gonna go on in and I'm doing like you know half half of it in purple and half of it I don't know if that's teal or aqua maybe it's more aqua but I'm going in with those two colors and I'm just dab dab dabbing dabbing them on and it's gonna take a few rounds to build it up and get it all opaque the way I want it so I have sped this up quite a bit um, I don't know, at least one and a half times, something like that, because uh, this, this manicure is very layered, <laughs> very, very many layers. I've been wanting to do a gradient with these ever since Cherie sent them to me, so I was really excited to finally get around to having some time to, to play with them. I just, when I, I remember when I swatched them, I thought, ooh, these would look really good gradient, and I was right, they do. I really love the look of it. And after all the Christmas manicures and holiday manicures, I was really looking forward to just something, you know, a little different. Something a little bright and happy. But when you're doing gradients, just keep doing this step until you reach the opacity that you like. You know, you get it to where what you're seeing is, you know, the depth that you want it to be. Uh, sometimes you can do one or two rounds and be good to go, and then other times you need four or five, maybe six, just depending on the opacity of your polishes. These are pretty opaque, so I'm, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I don't think it's going to take too many off, too many rounds. You can see they're starting to build up now. Tap, tap, tap. I do love these Kiss Gel Strong polishes, though. I've been very impressed with them. I've done water marbles with them. I've stamped with them. Just really, really nice. We're just going to keep on rolling with this until it gets just right. Just perfect. Well, I wouldn't say perfect. I'm not a perfect person, but I do want to get it more, you know, more opaque. Being sure to wiggle my fingers side to side, trying to make sure I get all the way over to those side walls. And a lot of times when I do gradients, I use the lightest color, but on this blue and purple, I was scared that it would um, change it too much if I used one of these colors. So I went ahead and put the white undie down. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. 
gradients. There we go. All gradient up. We're going to pull this latex off using my little tweezers. And there we go. Oh, got a fuzzy. And now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup with some acetone and a cleanup brush. You can use regular nail polish. You don't have to use acetone. I'm just quite impatient. So um, the pure acetone seems to work faster. Getting all up in them little nook and crannies up there. Lots of nooks and crannies. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat again. And I want you to notice how smooth the top coat makes it look. It goes from kind of being grainy and gritty to just smooth and just seamless. I always love when the magic happens on a manicure like this. When you see that, it's just so pretty. Because you're looking at it thinking, ooh, this is looking kind of gross. And then you do that top coat, gorgeous. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Back again. Busy, busy fella. There we go. So there we go. Here's a swatch photo of this manicure. Just with the gradient. Now we're going to play on it. I'm going to be using this Brave Diva Polish. And this is Albie's Your Huckleberry. It's like China Glaze's Fairy Dust on steroids. It's a hollow topper that would just look good on so many different, uh, so many different polishes. Look at that. It's very pretty. So now that that is dry, I'm going to be stamping with this MoU London Pro Collection Zero Two Plate. I'm going to be using the Butterfly Image. I've got my monocle stamper and my clear jelly scraper out today. And I'm just kind of putting this on kind of sideways so that I get part of the butterfly body and the wings. Loving this. I am going to go in immediately with some tape and try to get up that excess polish off of my finger. Worked really well. Thank you, JKV. She keeps reminding me to do that. And so we're going to do this image on all the nails, but on my ring finger, I'm going to flip it kind of upside down. Gonna give it a little bit of a difference. I don't know that anybody will notice, but I'll know it's there. So here we go. Flipping it upside down and doing the same thing, trying to get the butterfly body and part of the wings on there. So there we go. Loving it. And now for the pinky nail. I'm really, really happy with this manicure. Many, many layers, but all well worth it. So there we go. I'm going to top this one with some Posh Top Coat and get it to dry down and seal up and be done. So I'm going to have a swatch photo coming up here pretty soon. I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Please leave me a comment down below. And here is that swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.